we're excited for a great matchup here today inside Truman Stadium between the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers and your Ball State Cardinals. Ball State's a tough team. They're more talented than last year. They're deeper than last year. And I fully anticipate final home game of the non-conference for them to respond in front of this big family weekend crowd. You take that field, you take with a Ball State football mentality, get yourself loose, that ball's kicked off. Four quarters, dominate your job, let's get a win, all right? Let's go. Love going out there, you know, breaking it down and running out there with the team before the game starts. Nothing compares to that. No feeling. Third and one upcoming, Malik Dunner lines up in the backfield. Fakes the handoff, pitch out to Malik Donner. He's gonna have all the space in the world. And Malik Donner gets on the board and boosts the Cardinals to a 6-0 lead here with 6.43 remaining in the first quarter. Given a single digit number is not something that I give. Players have to earn that. You have to perform on the football field, but we need you to be one of the hardest workers in the weight room. We need you to be one of the hardest workers on the practice field. I knew I had to get bigger regardless, so whether it was for a number or not for a number, I was gonna do everything I could in the weight room, in runs, in the meeting rooms, or whatever they wanted me to do to become a better player. Set, go. When you're only talking about nine single-digit jerseys, that gets awarded to the best of the best. Shanley gets a snap, goes to Appleberry, he shoots and dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Western Kentucky gets on the board with five minutes remaining in the first half. Neal in the shotgun again. This time the handoff goes to Gilbert. He's met right away, but avoids the tacklers, gets to the outside the numbers, up to the 30, picks up a first down. They mark it a 43-yard attempt. Ball is down, kick on the way. Morgan Hagee stretches the Cardinals' lead to three. Ball stayed on top, 10 to seven, with 134 remaining in this first half. Duncan in the shotgun with Samuel to his right. Fakes the handoff, a quick pitch to the tight end, McQuan Dean, and Dean dives forward for the touchdown. He hands off to Huntley. Huntley breaks a tackle. Now another one gets upended inside the 20 yard line down to the 17. Lacanario walks into the end zone for a touchdown. Ball State retakes the lead. Takes a snap, takes the handoff to the running back, throwing down the far sideline. He's got his tight end, McQuan Dean, and it's caught for a touchdown. Duncan in the shotgun, hands off to Samuel. He shoots right up the middle and scores immediately. Ball State falls to one and three. When I had got the number four, I never would have number four before in my life or anything like that. And I just thought I do it for my fam. So I just put you know for the fam. My family, that's all it is to me. Family's everything, you know, you're nothing without your family. Let's go, Keese. Let's go, Keese. Let's go, Keese. Outside arm, that boy. Marquise is probably the one that doesn't get as much credit as he deserves and tells you a lot about the young man when he's not asking for credit either because he's humble. With the group and what we do, I think that we kind of have him do a lot of different things. He's kind of a backup to everybody right now, and I think he knows that, and we don't have a problem putting him in when we do, and there's nothing we wouldn't do with him that we do with everybody else, if that makes sense. It's not like, hey, this is your role and you only do this. Howdy, boy. Good job. Good job. Good speed. My game, I do everything. Versatile, catch, run. I can run between the tackles. A lot of people don't know that about me. Niggas that I'm so small, you know, they look at my size. But, like, I can really run between the tackles real good. Like, I run behind my pads. I'm very elusive. I can do it all. I do special teams and everything, too. There's four really capable players right now, and you can only play so many guys. When your turn comes, you got to be ready to go, and I think he's done a good job with that. Whether it's in practice or in his limited opportunities in the game, he's played well.
He's a kid that we knew about from his high school tape. There's some things we didn't know about him. One, how big he was, kind of what his true speed was. One luxury about him was we got to see him at one of our camps. From there, we invited him down for a day and committed shortly after that. He's got a lot of carries ahead of him in his future here at Ball State. And I'm excited and proud of the way he's handled everything so far. And most importantly, every time he gets a chance, he makes something happen with the ball in his hands. He's a sleeper, so when people say it's a three-headed monster, they forget about Marquise. Marquise is a great back. One of these games, he's going to do something pretty good, and they're going to be like, dang, who's that kid? So be on the lookout. My role is to just be as good as I can be for this team and make big things happen for the 2018 season. The first thing that stands out is their quarterback's played a lot of football, you know, so he, he's used to being in the fray and he handles himself really, really well in those situations. They have some dynamic skill offensively. They do a really good job offensively, maximizing their personnel and putting them in the best position to succeed. We're 0 0 going into MAC play, and uh, we're really confident that uh, we can go out and get a win. So I think you've got to learn from the mistakes that we had, because we certainly had some that uh, could have got us over that hump. And you know, when you're leading in the fourth quarter with not much time left, you'd like to be able to close out and, and win, and, and you feel a whole lot different. But the one thing about it is sometimes winning can hide some mistakes. So at least we can fix these mistakes and move on and go try to win a MAC championship. Caleb is a really hard worker. He was born to be a running back. I mean, he's got, he's physical, he's got good balance, he has good speed, but why I like Caleb as a running back on our football team, you know exactly what you're gonna get. And the way he practices, the way he plays. And you know, when he gets his reps, they're 100 miles an hour, and I think people feed off that energy, and as he continues to do that, good things are gonna happen for him. And, and I think the game is just slowing down for him quite a bit from last year to this year, and I think that will continue. I mean, he's not where he needs to be yet. I think he knows that, but uh, the good thing again, like him, he's a young player, and I'm gonna just keep improving each week.